Hi, my name is Gemma Whitehead and my, present, uh, my presentation is on my media evaluation and my magazine is called Revolution. My target audience. My target audience is males aged between 16 to 21. However, it may appear to be males between that age too. I chose the genre of rock because I feel most comfortable with that type of music and I feel it appeals to a lot of cheap people in the 21st century. I decided to make sure my magazine wasn't too mainstream and I wanted to make the front cover really stand out. This is my front cover. This is logo, masthead, band name, as the price which is £3.99 and also the barcode. My magazine represents a rock social group by having strong colours throughout and the doll having makeup on shows a thriller-like theme which would mainly appeal to males who listen to rock music. This is my contents page. My contents follows the colour scheme and I made sure that I had a lot of pictures to go alongside the descriptions. I wanted to make use of Photoshop skills I have learned over the pro process of making this magazine and decided to use smoke brushes as my background instead of just fill effects. This is my double page spread. Um, I feel that my double page spread is naturalistic but bold. Um, I have a bit of trouble with the writing as it will fold over the middle of the two pages. Um, but I try to rectify this by moving it slightly to the left um, and I think it should be okay. Um, I decided that my um, band name was going to go th right through the middle of the text so it showed that the band was more important than really what the text was saying. I mean it is just an interview with them so they wanted to promote their name rather than just what they were doing. Uh, these are my results from Survey Monkey. Um, I got in contact with my um, audience by Facebook. Um, Um, also, I found out that my price was reasonable, um, apart from two people out of the 11 that I asked that it wasn't. Um, and also, if it was going to be distributed worldwide, I um, increased the price as I feel that £3.99 might be a bit too cheap for it, but most of my audience agreed that it, it was fine. Um, they would change most of the content of my magazine. I found out that um, the double page spread wasn't as thorough as it could have been. I feel I could have included a lot more text um, over the double page spread. Um, my magazine is similar to Kerrang! Um, as it uses simple but effective fonts, such as along the side on my front cover, on the left third there's um, it's literally aerial font and bold fonts as well I used. Some more questions. Um, where would I find Revolution? The media institution that might distribute my magazine would most probably be a record store such as HMV, as it's not very mainstream. Um, IPC will distribute my magazine to HMV, so I wouldn't have to worry about delivering the books myself. Um, what I've learned about the technologies during the making of my magazine, well I've learned a lot about different technologies from the process of constructing this product. Before I even came on AS Media, I had only used Photoshop by helping my mum with her Village Connection magazine, which is a local magazine distributed to 6,000 homes. Over the course, over this course, I've used Photoshop skills outside of my college hours to help with the design of my mum's magazine. Uh, there it is just there. Um, my Photoshop skills improved, for instance, I now know how to download brushes from the internet, which I had no clue about, and I really was bugging for ages how to do that. Um, and I included them in my work, um, for instance, on the contents page instead of the background. I now know how to use layers, which are crucial when designing a magazine. I learn overall. 
I've learned a lot during the media AS course. Looking back at my preliminary task, I didn't know how to use layers in the correct way. I didn't use enough layers, so I found a spelling mistake in the particular part of my work, and I would have to delete a fair amount of work in order to rectify my mistake. Just have a look at your front yes. page. Yeah. Great, okay. Would you say there's any codes and conventions that you've challenged at all? Um, I think I've challenged the fact that I haven't, I've only used the titles on the left hand side and I haven't <coughs> put anything on the right. Um, I also feel that. I've only included one image on the front um, when I could have included maybe a few more to make the magazine look a bit more interesting. Um, and I also haven't put any writing at the bottom because I felt that it would be too crowded on the front. And I wanted to make the image really stand out by, by just having it really bold, um, even in front of my magazine title, so it overlaps <coughs> the actual name of the magazine. But hopefully that would be recognised um, if it was distributed like around the country. Um, but yeah, I think um, Kerrang uses similar methods because it's very well known. But I think if I was to really do this, if I was really to set up a magazine, I would actually get rid of all that and do it very differently. Um, but if that was a magazine like Kerrang, then I'd keep that. Your, where's your slow go? Uh, I, I said it was the reinventing rock music at the top. Right, okay. But um, I was going to, I went through a lot of different names instead of reinventing, it was revolutionising. Right. But in the end, I thought reinventing was a good idea because you wouldn't normally see a doll's head on the front of a magazine. Okay, right. All right. Um, any other questions we've got from the class? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.